Dawson with Reynolds. Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here, coming at you today with a top five video. Now the other day, you know, unfortunately we found out that JDF passed. Uh, in my video about it, I shared my favorite Tommy memories or some of my favorite Tommy memories and shared, or encouraged you guys rather, to share some of yours. But I wanted to make more of a proper top five when I had more of a chance to think about it and wasn't just rambling even though all these videos are called Dawson's Rambles. Now this top five is obviously going to be a personal list. It is mostly personal. I would say it's like an 80% personal list, but like 20% I tried to be a little bit objective and sort of include some a little bit higher on the list because of how important or iconic they were, at least in my opinion. It's still all an opinion-based list, but just so you know where my head's at. And I'm also gonna have a handful of little honorable mentions to start with, um, some of which Tommy technically isn't in the scene or he's like adjacent to it, but it's kind of a scene related to him. Just some fun favorite moments. And just as with the previous video, I encourage you to share yours. So just for some fun honorable mentions, uh, these couple are kind of more related to Tommy. Uh, just number one, his appearance, this isn't number one on the list, this is number one honorable mention. This is gonna get confusing. Is his appearance in Forever Red, uh, it just, I mean, it was good to see him back in general, but I'm talking about, I find it really funny in retrospect, the way his character is portrayed as this sort of mogul in preparation uh, for his, for this hexagon stuff that didn't go through. Like, it's only primarily funny to see in the context of, like, two seasons later, we find out he's a paleontologist and a high school teacher. So I just find that to be funny. And also, just the interactions about, like, Cole saying, oh, that's the greatest ranger ever, and the whole Q-Rex can eat the dragon sword for lunch. There was kind of some fun like meta franchise referencing banter around it. That's probably my favorite thing about his appearance in Forever Red. Sort of going off of that too, back, like I'm still a Tommy fan, but back when I was even more of a Tommy fan when Dino Thunder aired, I always liked the line when uh, the Rangers and Dino Thunder find the video diaries and say, oh, our, our, uh, our teachers are the oldest living Power Ranger. And Haley says, not the oldest, just the best. I thought that was a good line. Speaking of good lines, one that actually comes from Tommy is when he's fighting Goldar Depowered. And I apologize, I can't remember the exact wording, but I always loved his line about, you know, you reminded me how much good I've done, not just as the Green Ranger, but as plain old Tommy. And just about him kind of believing in himself, and I think it really hammers home what I mentioned in the previous video, one of my favorite aspects about his transition from Green Ranger to White Ranger was sort of finding his value and redemption through that. Okay, so now on to the actual top five. Coming in at number five is Tommy's appearance in Dimensions in Danger. I should have mentioned too that this list is going to include specific moments as well as just like entire sections of moments or episodes. And as I mentioned in the other video, I think it's really nice, especially in retrospect, that we have this sort of last tribute and at the time unknowing send-off to Tommy. But even before, you know, all the unfortunate news, I always did like the Master Morpher and Tommy's appearance because it was this cool way of paying tribute to Power Rangers' legacy of having characters carry on for a long time through different Ranger mantles. And Tommy obviously had done the most and even come back later in the series. And so it was just such a cool way of celebrating that. I love the way it functioned. I love the way it worked in the fights. Um, even within that appearance, we had cool little things like the Falcon Zord summoning. I didn't think they would do something like that, you know? It wasn't the best CGI, but it was a cool appearance. And also the, you know, if without a Master Morpher, you're nothing but a cheap copy is such like a good, like, memeable line. Uh, coming up after that at number four is the entirety of uh, Fighting Spirit, which is the episode where Tommy entered a coma and fought his previous Ranger forms except for Turbo. You know, huge fan favorite episode and a great episode for longtime fans, especially in this one. It was just a really cool one to see. I think it was a really cool combination of uh, fan service and plot. Like, it was obviously fan servicey to see him fight his previous ranger forms. I mean, just to see the suits. You know how Toku fans just like to see suits just exist. But also was character driven about his journey back, and there's like psychologically interesting ways you can kind of evaluate it, especially, you know, fighting the Green Ranger is his greatest challenge to overcome. Plus, it was the birth of the greatest thing of all time, the Silver Stripe. Team Silver Stripe for life. Number three after that, this is one of the times where I tried to sort of change the rank, because personally I would maybe rank this as number three, but I'm gonna rank my actual number three for this list, trying to be a little more objective as just the appearance of the Green Ranger slash Green with Evil, like just the first appearance of the Green Ranger. You know, with how oversaturated MMPR and the Green Ranger can become, it's easy to forget why this was so iconic. And, you know, I hate when people say this, but without it, like, none of the other stuff would have happened. And it's the reason Tommy's character was so popular, and a lot of the reason the franchise popularity continued, and the reason we have such a unique character that did wind up taking up so many mantles and become the leader. But, you know, at the time, you know, Power Rangers was an early concept for us. Probably most of the audience watching did not know about Super Sentai. I mean, Dragon Ranger, I think, was like the first real 
tradition, the first real traditional Six Ranger, if I recall. I mean, I know there was stuff like X1 Mask, but this is like when the tradition started. But anyway, I'm explaining too much. The point is, is when Power Rangers was out, we only knew a few things were certain about the Power Rangers. It was a new franchise. There were five of them, they came in these colors, and they were the good guys. And the Green Ranger smashed all those expectations. Color we'd never seen before, in a cool armored suit, he was this badass that almost defeated the Rangers. It was a really legendary and significant moment, and you could arguably say the most significant on a quote-unquote objective list, but this is where I'm ranking it in the middle, trying to sort of marry my personal list with a more, again, quote-unquote, objective list. Coming in at number two is Tommy's entrance as the White Ranger, the guess who's back moment. I mentioned in my video about JDF the other day, as well as I've mentioned on previous occasions, that my favorite version of MMPR Tommy is the White Ranger and the tradition from green to white ranger. I mean, I love both suits, but I prefer the White Ranger suit just a little bit. But I just always loved how, as mentioned before, I'm sorry, repeating this, but the White Ranger suit for me, like, physically represented Tommy's redemption. After being evil and being forced to, and then using the suit and doing all he could to help the ranger for good. He sort of like literally just earned this suit and actually got to be chosen by Zordon. And this was just such a great scene. Like, you know, uh, it's not even say it's cinematic. I mean, for PR it is. You know, there's very few moments I could consider cinematic in the MMPR days in particular. But this one I would say is up there just from, you know, the way the Rangers are looking up with the light coming down, the helmet coming off, the, the guess who's back. Just such a good moment to sort of put a, you know, sort of punctuate that moment. Coming in for me at number one is Tommy's debut and morph as the Dino Thunder Black Ranger. Uh, specifically the line, like, I may be old, but I can still pull it off. Good PR classic line that's both cheesy and awesome at the same time. As mentioned also in the previous video, my favorite version of Tommy is Dino Thunder Tommy. I think it was really the culmination of his character. It really highlighted how good of a mentor Tommy was. You know, I think, I know this video is meant to be celebrating JDF's character, but I, I'm just going to say that I think Tommy's a better mentor than a leader. I don't think he was a bad leader to by any stretch. But I think that there's other people that shined better and more in the forefront as Red Rangers. And Tommy was just kind of a solid Red Ranger leader. But I think he just shined more as a mentor. I think that his experience as a Ranger, especially on the darker and more complicated side, made him a really valuable mentor for the team. And this was just such an exciting moment. You know, this was back before we had so many crossovers and just talk of crossovers and, you know, the possibilities of crossovers. And this was back when it was really exciting. And not to mention, this was the first and only time as of this moment, unless I have Mandela affect something, that a veteran ranger came back as a like regular cast member. And it was such an iconic moment, filled with iconic lines, even like the, you know, give me a break, it's been a while. And the, the Black Ranger suit was just so perfect. It felt like a suit that was made to be Tommy, like right down to the Brachio staff sort of echoing Saba. Like it's my favorite Tommy moment. I still get chills when I see it because I just remember it being so exciting. Like I said, I had fell off PR for about a year during Ninja Storm before I caught up on it. Obviously caught up on it because I sing Ninja Storm praises all the time. But I, you know, had given into peer pressure for a little while. And so Dino Thunder was me coming back. And so that was the reason. And I think it's great that Dino Thunder functions great without Tommy. You know, in my opinion, I think that it can stand on its own is all I'm saying. But I think that was just such a great treat for longtime fans. And uh, it's my favorite moment. But that is it for my list. As with before, maybe tell me your top five favorite Tommy favorite moments from the show. I said favorite way too many times then. Or just favorite lines, or kind of like I did, like moments that pertain to him that were kind of funny in the franchise. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps and ring that bell so you can get, so you can get notifications for my videos. Dawson Ryder, signing out.